Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Chad Sports Talk. He's on all my name's Chad. Take a dive world of sports. And welcome to the dawn of the new college football season. The time of this video, week zero, will kick off in two days. That's right. And there's a slate of game populating the calendar coming up on August 27th. And I'll dive into some of those key matchups, or some of the matchups. Don't worry call many of them key but we'll dive into some of those matchups and also give you my preview for the upcoming college football season and my predictions for the college football playoff but before diving all that if you could go ahead and smash that thumbs up for me especially like the content provider it really pleases you two guys help promote this channel out you can also subscribe review my work my analytics and a lot of you guys are reviewing my work and I love you all for doing that. And I mean you subscribe, it costs you a dime and helps me provide more intent value for you. Now with the upcoming season, we already are give you my uh quick little snippet of the coaches poll preseason poll and I felt a few schools were highly overrated, a few schools were underrated, and I think there's a few schools that are missing off of that poll. Now, my poll won't come out to about the week prior around the time frame the college football playoff poll comes out. This is how mine is designed. Um, and it's kind of a point system type of system. So it does kind of favor, you know, the big boys more than the group of five. And really hampers those that like to play the FCS cupcakes later in the season, SEC. So... <laughs> that That's being said, so mine's not exactly a perfect system. But, you know, that's what I got. Anyways, um, going over some of the uh, uh, aspects coming up with uh, the upcoming season. There's a lot of teams out there that I think are being vying for there. I think no one has any doubts that the, number, the top two schools that should be at the very end, Alabama, Ohio State. I don't think anyone's going to question that whatsoever. Um, right now they're both poised to, to to repeat some of their their, their uh, swagger they did last year. Alabama's got something to prove. Ohio State's got something to prove. Um, Ohio State's got to you know come back and beat Michigan. <laughs> Alabama's looking for another another ship. So I think those two will be the last two standing when it comes comes to the time frame for uh, national championship. And I don't know which one to go with. Um, I really don't. And do I go with uh, the, the proven veteran Saban? Not many people beat him. Um, especially his, his former uh, uh, assistants. Only a handful of those have done that. Or do I go with the upstart of Ohio State, um, who has developed a rich, rich history up there in the Big Ten country? One of the most dominant schools in recent recent times, and it's really really kind of hard to really kind of see who will come out on top. So you know, I'm leaning towards Ohio State just because I just don't like to see the SEC keep winning. I like to see a little variety here and there, but I, I could see Ohio State maybe squeaking past. But you know, I I think I think it's like a fifty fifty shot, anyways. Depending on the fan, that the, and depending which fan you are, depends on how much of the fifty fifty split you say it's not. So, but I think everyone could part could agree that Alabama Ohio State national championship would be phenomenal. Now, the other members of the college football playoff are going to be two new ones. I'm going to predict two new opponents. Participants, two schools haven't been in there uh, yet. One hasn't really been significant in the national title frame for a many decades now. And I'm going to put Miami and Utah as the three, four schools uh, into the playoffs. So that's going to be uh, interesting to see that one kind of play out. So, I mean, that that's a... Weird, weird aspect. Um, 
Well, let's go ahead and go down some of the uh, conferences, how I kind of see some of these matchups kind of going. Um, with the Big Ten, I can see Ohio State knocking off Wisconsin. Um, who Wisconsin just slipped past Iowa to take the West Division. Iowa State beat, hold off just enough to, uh, that late surge from Michigan State to win the East. Then the SEC, I think it's all Alabama, Georgia. I don't think there's going to be anyone. Uh, Texas A&M might be in the next one there. I know a lot of eyes are looking at LSU with Kelly. No. Um, Kelly's going to struggle hugely in his first year in the Bayou. And he has a, he has a hard time against SEC when he was another dame. What makes you think he's going to succeed when he's in the SEC? So, I don't think they're uh, quite there yet in, L in LSU. I think Ole Miss has a better shot. I think Arkansas has a better shot. Uh, Kentucky, uh, Tennessee could be a surprise. Florida may uh, turn their, their boat around. So, you got those uh, schools there to probably do a lot better in LSU. But I think the, the top team after Alabama and Georgia is going to be A&M. Out in the ACC, this one I struggle with a lot, trying to figure out who I was going to take where. <clears throat> and I like the idea of Miami. Um, way the, the swagger in the U has changed. The talent's coming in. They're 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 saying that this <clears throat> this is definitely a program on the rise, and I definitely see that. Another one I look at is NC State. That's another school that's really on the rise. Uh, North Carolina, Mac Brown's pretty good. Pitt and Wake will not repeat what they did last year. They should be decent programs themselves. Uh, the Hokies, you don't know which version is going to show up. Same thing with BC. And, of course, there's Clemson and Tabu Sweeney. He's going to find himself back in the ACC Championship against Miami and falling short. Big 12, I think everyone's looking at Texas to come out of nowhere and take the uh, Big 12, and not so fast. Uh, I think it'll be Oklahoma State. They'll knock off their in-state rival to win the title. And Baylor's will be right there as well. Um, but I think it's going to be the Cowboys or the Sooners. Out West, it's still Utah and Oregon, even though everyone's giving USC a bunch of praise and you know because of Lee and Riley going out there to coach. He's going to make noise. He's got the, he brought in the talent. Um, but I think he's just going to fall just short. Uh, but he won't make a New Year's Six Bowl with with his with this squad. So USC is going to be on the up and up. And just in time for them to go to the Big Ten. Still makes no sense to me. But those are the Power Five. The group of five. The conference is going to lead the charge, and this one's going to be, once again, the American. They won't have the Cinderella season that, that Cincinnati had. Because Cincinnati's going, not going to repeat what they did. They lost too much talent from that squad to really replace. I really see Houston coming out on top. They'll knock off UCF to win the title. But I see Navy possibly make a nice return. Cincinnati, SMU, Memphis being the other members of this conference. But Houston will be the one making the New York Six Bowl. Out West and the Mountain West, it's between the Aztecs and Broncos. I think the Aztecs are going to win this one. But you can't count out Fresno State, Utah State, Air Force. I mean, those are some quality programs out there West, but they're the number two of the group of five. And down there in the Sun Belt, uh, I think it's going to be between App State and Louisiana. Um, I think these are the two down the, two down the teams in the Sun Belt, so I'll go with the Mountaineers edging out the Cajuns in this one. Still one of the famous, one of the greatest uh, uh, nicknames for college athletics, I think, right now is the Raging Cajuns. That's just me. Um, the MAC and Conference USA, um, that's a pick you, you decide who wins. Um, I think no one's going to really care, I think, either or unless you're from those, those type of conferences. I'm going to go Western Michigan. We'll take the MAC um, over Miami, Ohio. But with the Mac play, no one's going to come out to really um, be a, a force nationally. So it is what it is. And Conference USA is becoming a shell of its former self as the three schools already bolted for the Sun Belt. Um, and you also have the, the mass exodus of those heading towards 
uh, the American in the next couple of seasons. But for Conference USA, I'll say Middle Tennessee will knock off North Texas. Uh, UTSA will not repeat what they did. I don't think they even get double wins this upcoming season. Uh, outside of that, there's not many that really um, tickle the fancy right there. I mean, UAB will definitely be up there. Excuse me. Um, I think UAB will just fall just short. But, you know, that's <clears throat> what I think is going to be. And then for the New York Six Bowls, uh, I'll have USC taking on Michigan State in the rows. The Orange will find NC State playing host to Houston. The Sugar will be Georgia and Oklahoma, while the Cotton Bowl is an all-Texas showdown. Texas against Texas A&M. And let's go ahead and give a little bit of a Week Zero preview. Um, it all starts off uh, 12 Eastern in Bowling Green, Kentucky, where the Hilltoppers, Hill, Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky play host against Austin P. Governors. In the nice one-sided affair. We're starting to play overseas once again. In Dublin, Ireland, you'll see Nebraska taking on Northwestern. This should be a decent showing between these two. I'll give the slight edge to Nebraska on this one. Um, both these schools probably won't do a lot this year for the Big Ten. It all ends 10.30 p.m. Eastern out there in Honolulu as the Hawaii Warriors to play host to the Vanderbilt Commodores, where I think Hawaii should be able to uh, knock off Vanderbilt in this one and their nice little small complex as they're rebuilding their brand new football stadium out there. And but only one other uh, contest uh, this weekend that probably be any good, depending, is Wyoming and Illinois playing out there in Champaign. Urbana. Uh, both these programs are part of the middle of the road, if not lower end of their conference standings. This will be a good good test to see if uh, Illinois could try to build off of something that they started last year. They could continue on that, that notion, and I'll give the Illini the slight edge or the Cowboys in this one. I think this one will be decided by three. Well, that's basically it. Um, I'm not going to go into too much details about you know all the other bowls and who I see is going to go where. Um, there's too many nuances in there. Um, I don't have Notre Dame and New York Six. I don't see that happening. Uh, for me, I think they're ranked too high anyways initially. Because that game against Ohio State, they got it coming up. Will greatly determine how their season is going to go. And Notre Dame does have a tendency to falter in uh, games that actually matter. I know this. I'm an Irish fan. Um, <laughs> I'm not, you know, blind to their plight. <clears throat> I'm also one of the ones that keep saying they belong in the Big Ten. So, hey, you know, I'm one of the obscure Big Ten fans out there. But <laughs> anyways, <clears throat> enough of that being said, um, this is going to be a nice, exciting time for AIM. Football's coming back. You know, the college kids, I mean, you can call them kids. I can call them kids because they're about... Some of the freshmen are the same age as my daughters. So, <clears throat> to me, there will always be kids. But to start seeing them uh, uh, take off, try to see who's going to uh, rise to the top in terms of being the next number one pick, who's going to be the next rising star, who's going to you know, make their, their splash to get that huge NFL contract. And, you know, time will tell to see how this one plays out. Um... I'm not going to make any predictions about the Heisman. I think it's way too early to really kind of do that anyways. Because you're just going off of expectations. And that's why I'm not a big fan of preseason polls, preseasons, uh, uh, All-American, the Heisman picks and what, whatnot. I like the idea of doing you know, the predictions because that's just fun. I mean, then you can kind of look back and see how much of, of <clears throat> how much you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> what actually happened at the end of the year. But anyways, those are my picks. Like I said, Alabama, Ohio State battling for the national title. I'm getting the slight edge to Ohio State. Um, but I think this one could change as the season progresses. But like I said, that first week matchup with Ohio State and Notre Dame will really determine how that one kind of goes. Um, 
But let me know down below what you think, how much of a dummy you think I really am. Uh, do you think my uh, Final Four is a way off prediction, especially since I decided to put Miami and Utah both in there, both making their first appearances and leaving out the Big 12? Um, do you think the SEC would put two in there again? I hope not. Do uh, you think the Big Ten will actually get two in there? <clears throat> I don't like the two teams from one conference in there. I think it should be conference champs. That's just me. But, hey. And let me know what you think about my New York Six bold predictions. You know, who's going to go where. But just leave those comments down below. Uh, watch out next week where I prepare week one of the college football as well as give you my NFL preview. That's right, NFL is around the corner. It's a great time to be a sports fan as football's kicking off, and you know, not too long after that, you get your basketball and hockey kicks in. So, busy, busy time frame for uh, people like me, and plus I still try to do my <clears throat> top 50 uh, greatest base baseball players of all time, so I'm still racking through that one. So I got a couple more positions to go through, as well as you know all the teams. So I definitely got myself busy uh, 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 coming up. So stay tuned. I got plenty of more uh, uh, coming out for you. And <clears throat> way down there, making your comments about how silly I am. <laughs> if you could go ahead and smash that thumbs up once again, it really helps out. You can also share this, uh, this video with your friends and family. It really helps promote this channel. Once you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification. And they'll let you know next time I post a video. And I will see you next time on Chat Sports Talk.